What it do, Mama Mentality? This your boy Marv. How you guys doing today? Happy Wednesday. Today is no November 3rd. And I'm looking outside. It looks pretty nice outside. Um, it's not raining at all. So, big day today. I am going to be putting on my wheel cylinder, brake hose, all the, the brake shoe, the, the drums. Pretty much put all that fixed up, up the brakes put it all back and then you know and pretty much you know get hopefully everything is right i mean i can't really tell until i use the brakes but obviously i'm gonna get all four brakes done some someday and and pretty much bleed the brakes uh make sure that i've been reading the, you know the manual for the the corvair and you you know doing the brakes is not just what needs to be done so um you also have to think about the 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 emergency brake as well so that comes into play and it's just a lot uh, just a lot of stuff man but i mean like i said um i don't want to put too much information on myself and be all stressed out about it i'm just gonna go with the flow and just you know hope for the best and you know like i said i want to get the car running and there is a bunch of stuff still need to do with the car and i don't have a garage to do it in i just do it on the street so obviously getting this the car started would be much easier to move around but yeah guys um like this video subscribe man you know turn that notification up um i've been just getting a few views i don't really post this on instagram or anything at all i just you know do it on my own time and and yeah so anyways let's get some breakfast first and then we'll go to the garage and we'll set up everything and and you know make sure we get everything set up first okay Good morning and hope y'all have a blessed day. See y'all. Oh man, I dig it when chicks run. Now that's my kind of woman. All right, guys. So got all set up. Got my pretty much all my hardware stuff here. I got the wheel cylinder here, and yeah. 
see how this goes right now. I'm going to go open this up. Make sure that it fits. This one comes in there. Put the wheel cylinder on. All right, let's go ahead and put this one first. Oh, we need a 10 millimeter there. This one already has a clamp, so it already has this. And this one has to come up there. All right, guys. So, putting on my brake, my wheel cylinders first.
All right, guys. Um, camera died, so I had to charge it. And putting on the brakes was pretty difficult. I had a few questions that um, I need answer to, but I put everything on by watching some video. Um, I do have a previous picture of how it looked before. It does look pretty good. I don't know if I'm missing anything or whatnot, but. <clears throat> All right, so pretty much hooked up that one, the brake hose that goes into the cylinder. There's two bolts in the back. And then, yeah, I put up, put everything on. Right now this thing moves a little. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Um, I had trouble with this thing because there's like a little like little um, thing that goes in I don't know if that was the use for it um, but putting this thing was very difficult and then this is difficult actually putting these on are difficult as well but yeah I mean yeah that was pretty difficult like I said I don't have any experience of this, this things but I'm trying to make it work now I gotta put the pretty much the the drums on tighten the brake hose that's behind the wheel cylinder and yeah guys uh, put the wheel back on remove the other one remove the drums as well and then maybe send that over to Napa Auto and then get that cut up clean all my thing so try to speed the process up with the next uh break and this time i'm gonna in, uh, inspect the right passenger brake to see if i did the left one so um i've watched videos i read the manual and stuff like that but you just want to make sure you are putting the everything in the right place and you don't want any like malfunction but obviously um i still got three more breaks and you know it's gonna be a trials and errors guys that's just how it is just don't give up it's pretty stressful but you guys could do it all right so let me go ahead and tighten the screws or the brake hose that's attached to the wheel cylinder um, and yeah so I'll see you guys in a bit because I have to put the drums in and then the wheel bearings and yeah that that's gonna be fun uh, but yeah i'll see you guys in a bit All right, guys, I think we have a little bit of problem here. So this thing right here, it looks like it's not flush. As you can see, there's a gap. Um, I'm not sure why it's like that. Let's see. Oh, it's all, it's like loose. It's supposed to be like that. I guess it's supposed to be like that, but huh. anyways, maybe it is like that. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna check the other wheel and put this one on. And right now, I'm having difficulty putting this on because I don't think it fits.
Right, so first, so this one for the washer. Look what the hell is in the winter. Let's put this on.
All right, guys, so I wasn't able to film, or I filmed some of the the wheel bearing installation. I don't know if I put it in right uh, right now. I just, pretty much I put everything back. Um, the wheel cap, um, the drums, um, but yeah, here, I'll show you guys. Give me one second. These are from the other wheel, the right passenger uh, front, um, what do you call it? Wheel or the lug nuts. And I'm gonna be soaking this in the evaporus, but right now, so as you can see, it's covered up now, which is, you see the wheel and everything on there. Yeah, it looks good on this side. Um, this side. So we move the wheel, um, and then I'm going to hose this down. Actually, hose this down, clean some of this dirt off, and yeah. And probably hose that side of it because that side was pretty bad. And yeah, move that one and then gonna clean the wheel again. Okay, so recap on what I just did um, put on the wheels. Um, on the driver's side wheel bearing put put everything back on as you can see um and then i also remove the other wheel on the passenger side now i'm gonna spray that down remove i'm pretty i want to inspect to make sure i put it put the the brakes and stuff the right way and from just like doing it i kind of have an idea of what i did on the driver's side so Passenger side, uh, hopefully I did everything correct. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean the wheels and then place that inside the, my trunk. I do have the stuff I need for the, um, what's it called? The stuff I need, I the stuff I need for the other, uh, what do you call it? Other brake, uh, the passenger brake. And yeah, um... I'm going to see what the weather's like tomorrow and this week. It's supposed to rain today, they said, but it, today's sunny. So I'm like, okay. And I also want to, I'm also going to be um, smoking some short ribs. Uh, I'll probably put that on the vlog. But yeah, um, sorry I didn't catch all the brake installation stuff. But hopefully, oh yeah. So my SD card on my camera is full then my phone died so i couldn't record so i had to charge it so that's why i'm here now talking to you guys and yeah stay tuned for another video um and right now like and subscribe everyone like i said it's gonna be a long run but if you stay with me you'll see how this corvair is restored from not moving at all to even driving to brakes working 
and to just get this get started with the inside um you know clean up some windows and and stuff like that so there's still a lot of work to done a lot of work to be done but you know i'm doing it at least right if it doesn't go well which i'm not planning that in my head that it won't go well i'm always planning positive so you guys as well think positive every day and you know it that's just part of life now you just gotta think of it as no negative everything in life is negative already you know including hard work you know you're working eight hours a day and stuff like that there's a lot of negative stuff about life guys but you think positive everything will go your way and you know um but yeah i'll see you guys in a bit i am going to spray down the side of that car or maybe um clean up a little bit and then spray it down so yeah see you guys later peace All right guys, so rinsed the wheel off and then added my oven cleaner and pretty much um, letting it soak for at least, let's say five minutes or so, or one to five minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush it. And yeah, it's been probably like three minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start brushing.
is it. Well, guys, <laughs> few technical problems. Um, phone, the the camera. So, I pretty much was gonna record how the rims look like after it took out some like spots of dirt or whatever, um, built up dirt and stuff like that. But yeah, um. I think I'm all done. I mean, I did a, I started like, right now it's at, it's one o'clock. I started probably around like 10, so like three hours. Um, and like I said, um, after put, putting back the brakes on the driver's side, putting back the wheels, I wanted to remove the other wheel. I was gonna inspect that wheel to see um, if I did the, the driver's side correctly. And I'll probably do that some other time because right now I'm pretty tired. Um, and luckily, I it was I'm off today. And yeah, I cleaned up the rims, uh, dried it off, put it back on the on the on my car, my Honda Civic, in the trunk. And then yeah, um, oh yeah. So while I was cleaning out the wheel, I don't know if it. So first off, camera. SD card was full, stopped recording when I was doing my wheel bearings. And then after that, um, I got my phone, I uh, started recording what I did, blah, blah, blah. Started recording, cleaning the, the rims. As you can see, it probably got cut off because the temperature of my phone got too hot to where it stopped recording. And yeah, <laughs> but I don't know if it captured on that video or because uh, right now I'm using my phone and I seen two black widows like first one came up at me like not at me but it crawled up to the tire side because there's like a bunch of leaves and stuff like this car was stored in like uh like you know dirt and stuff it wasn't like cement or anything like that so there's a lot of like built up dirt and stuff. But, and then it came up and I was like, oh shit. S sorry my for my language, but I got scared. I don't like spiders at all. I was like pretty much just sprayed it with the, with the oven cleaner and that killed it away. Then I smacked it with the brush. So, and then after like turning over the wheel to clean the other side, I noticed another black widow in the bottom. So. I gotta be careful with this car. There might be black widows inside the car. And luckily those one wasn't as big. It was kind of like, well, it was pretty big to me because I, I hate spiders. It was like a size, size of a quarter. And yeah, but that's it guys. Uh, Actually, yeah, Um, I'm gonna play around with the, with the windshield vent to see if I can get that open. If I can, great. Then I'll vacuum that inside some other day. But if I can't, then that's some other video. Anyways, like this video, subscribe, um, turn notification on. And yeah, more vlogs coming to you guys. Um, this is pretty much uh, Corvair Part 6. And if you haven't watched the other videos, go ahead and do that. Um, and also, my other two videos was actually... The Halloween, because Halloween came up, and go ahead and watch that. I made a little clip of um, just us trick or treating, or taking my son CJ and then my nephew and niece trick or treating, or oh, my cousins actually, they're my cousins, and yeah, um, have a blessed day everybody, um, and on to the next video, peace.